everyone welcome to logical solutions online tutorials in this tutorial we will learn how to use a feature called auto trace in solidworks but what is auto trace have you ever heard of this auto trace in solidworks here is the answer we all know the word trace has multiple meanings like tracing sketching or finding but for now we will consider trace as draw or sketch over a picture on translucent tracing paper which we have done in our childhood. So auto trace is nothing but tracing or sketching a picture or an image automatically using some tools. Auto trace in SOLIDWORKS is an add-in with which we can trace or convert images into a sketch geometry. Why do we need to use auto trace? In order to trace images to convert into sketch geometry which can be used for solid modeling. Using auto trace helps us to avoid using of other sketch tools for sketching. But when do we need to use auto trace in SOLIDWORKS? If you want to maintain design intent, then you should be careful of using this feature. But if our design intent is not very important or our final model is not result oriented, then SOLIDWORKS auto trace can be used. Okay, how can we work with auto trace? In SOLIDWORKS, we have the ability to create sketches from pictures using an option called sketch picture. We'll see how we can do it. Let us open a part document in SOLIDWORKS. Select a plane for sketching. In this case, a friend plane. I need to insert this picture for sketching and generating a profile. To do this, select tools, sketch tools, open sketch picture which opens a new window for selecting our required picture. I am selecting a sample picture to convert it into a sketch. After inserting the picture, in order to sketch the profile, I need to use the sketch tools to draw the profile. But what about auto tracing and how that can be used? As said earlier, Auto trace in SOLIDWORKS is an add-in, so we need to add this into SOLIDWORKS. By accessing add-in from tools or directly from menu bar, we'll add this auto trace add-in. But to use this add-in or to get the best results with this add-in, we need to use images with high resolution or minimum of 300 dpi, precision contours and high contrast, sharp clearly defined edges. Now when we open our sketch again and check the sketch property manager, we can observe an extra page with setup options has been added. These for auto trace. In this property manager of auto trace, we have different settings for trace options and preview options. In the trace settings, you can observe selection tools like rectangular, freehand, polygon, and color pick. Firstly, using the rectangular selection tool, we will select the spectacles region and click trace. You can observe the outline in blue color, which is a preview of the profile of spectacles. If the generator preview is not as required, with the help of adjustment settings, varying them can get desired profile and click apply button. Like this we can convert into sketch. We will also look at other tools. Using select color tool, we will select a region of spectacles and convert into a sketch. Using freehand selection tool, we will select a region of moustache and click begin trace again. Making some adjustments, we will convert this into a sketch. Using the polygon area selection tool also, we will select another region of the moustache and click begin trace. And making again some adjust adjustments, we will require and convert this into a sketch profile by just clicking apply. After converting, just click the green tick at the top of the confirmation corner such that our auto trace will convert into a sketch. Now we can use this sketch to create a solid model. Selecting the sketch and using boss extrude feature, we will select the spectacles region and as we are having multiple contours and extrude it using midplane condition to 20 mm. Using the same sketch and the boss extrude feature again and with the mid-plane condition, we will extrude the moustache region to 40mm. We will also add appearances to the spectacles and moustache regions. We will add an orange color to the spectacles and a black color to the moustache. We will also change the background of this part to the plain white. Now I will show some other examples which have been modeled using sketches to convert into images. First, this is a Mickey face designed in SOLIDWORKS with the help of an image. We also have another Mickey face designed in SOLIDWORKS. We have also designed our national flag using our flag image. We have also modeled a sample car and also an autograph of mine designed in SOLIDWORKS. 
With this, we have finished looking at how we can use Autotrace in SOLIDWORKS to convert images into sketches. Hope you have enjoyed this session of SOLIDWORKS tutorials. You can check more SOLIDWORKS tutorials in our YouTube channel Logical Solutions. Please do subscribe. For any queries, please post your questions in the comments. Thank you.